I started my career with mobility at Uber in uh, the Silicon Valley. Uh, Jakarta is not just a challenge, uh, it's also a great opportunity where we can make uh, a serious impact. I started my career with mobility at Uber in uh, the Silicon Valley, um, but it's not about always tackling you know, the advanced markets. Uh, it's also about uh, globalizing good solutions to every corner of the world. Uh, I think when I was at Uber, it was obvious that you know, sustainable mobility is going to be everywhere uh, because especially in the developing market, the traditional uh, transportation, whether two-wheeler or four-wheeler, was just causing a lot of pollution, traffic, fumes, and uh, noise. Uh, so that's why I think uh, Jakarta is not just a challenge, uh, it's also a great opportunity where we can make uh, a serious impact. Jakarta, Indonesia, right, especially Jakarta, uh, is a world, you know, really large, the third largest motorcycle market. Um, so I think if we can uh, advance the sustainability agenda, uh, in Jakarta and then the, the rest of the Indonesia, I think that would be a great achievement. Uh, so yeah, that's, that's why uh, I came to Jakarta from Silicon Valley. Electric mobility uh, is to decarbonize two-wheeler mobility while making it convenient and affordable for the Indonesian people. Uh, of course, our uh, ambition does not stop in Indonesia. I think once we make an impact in Indonesia, we also want to replicate our solution to even the rest of Southeast Asia, right? Or even the rest of the world. So in 2024, we expanded our battery swapping network uh, from just a dozen locations to 280 stations. And we delivered over 5,000 electric motorcycles uh, doing roughly a few hundred kilometers a day, every day. So riders on Electron platform now complete 15,000 battery swaps every day and that covers 380,000 kilometers. That is a one-way trip to the moon. Uh, so by doing this, we're offsetting 20 tons of carbon dioxide every day. For personally, yeah. um, I think what is really exciting for me is uh, not only just innovating uh, solutions, but also uh, expanding good solutions uh, globally. And that's why I have worked personally in Silicon Valley in the US, uh, but also worked in uh, New Zealand, Germany, China, right? And now uh, Indonesia. Uh, better swapping solves two critical issues in Jakarta. First of all, uh, many homes here, they don't have the capacity for overnight charging large batteries. So uh, it would trip the circuit. Uh, secondly, building large charging stations isn't practical in such a densely packed city because you need a lot of land and uh, Jakarta is very congested. You know, it doesn't have a lot of uh, spare land. Um, so with battery swapping, riders can exchange a depleted battery for a fully charged one in under 20 seconds. So it is really fast, convenient and eliminates range anxiety. So plus by Standardizing batteries, we also reduce waste and ensure recyclability. Uh, for commercial fleet and gig workers uh, and delivery fleets, uh, downtime is money. Uh, so downtime is the money they could have made but lost. So swapping uh, allows them to get back on the road very quickly. And also uh, for businesses, our IoT platform provides complete visibility into the fleet performance and uh, individual worker performance. Uh, it helps them optimize costs and operations. Our focus on convenience and affordability sets us apart. For example, our swapping stations your air circulation to keep batteries at optimal temperature and uh, that ensure reliability. Uh, our also, it also accelerates the speed of charging, so making it very accessible, convenient for people to exchange batteries during really busy rush hours. Our bikes are designed to match or beat the total cost of ownership of traditional motorcycle. 
so that makes them accessible to a wider audience. Not only just the 100 million people who currently own a motor, traditional motorcycle, but it's also going to make it accessible and affordable to the rest of the 100, 200 million people to own a motorcycle, right? So everything we do is rooted in data. So from testing battery chemistries to optimizing station uh, placements, so this helps us stay financially sustainable while delivering a superior user experience. So scaling in an emerging market like Indonesia requires balancing speed with unit economics. Uh, so we have to introduce quickly, uh, we have to innovate quickly, introduce new products, you know, uh, uh, quickly, uh, while ensuring every step is cost effective. So convincing users to switch from gas to electric bikes also requires education, trust, and patience. But the momentum we're seeing now makes it all worth it. So our immediate goal is to expand our battery swapping station network um, and introduce more EV models that cater to different user needs. Uh, in the long term, we are exploring how our technology can power other vehicle types, three-wheelers, even uh, small uh, four-wheelers, logistical vehicles. We're also looking into integrating renewable energy into our system to further reduce our carbon footprint. So ultimately, we want to create a blueprint for sustainable mobility that can be replicated in other emerging markets. Uh, sustainable mobility is possible and it starts with bold ideas and collective action. So Jakarta is proving that innovation and execution can create real change. So follow, please follow Electrum's journey and let's build a cleaner, quieter and more sustainable future together.